Hey Roses, it's your girl Studios, and today we're gonna be going through the exclusive 2022 like models and sets, and I'm gonna be writing them. This is such an important announcement. There is an emoji hidden in one of these pictures. It is small and it is hidden, but it is there. And whoever finds it and then goes onto my website where my email is and emails me will win a special prize. So watch this video closely. And just a reminder that I have commissions open currently for custom models where you can design your own. This will only be open until the end of August because I will be going back to college until next summer. So commissions will not be open. If you're looking for a Christmas or birthday gift, then make sure to order now. If you're not sure what you want to order, I have sales horses available as well. Okay, so first off, we're gonna be starting with the paint mirror and i actually really like the coloration they chose on her however i just really dislike this model so for that reason i wouldn't get it but if it was on like a different model i'd think about it the only problem i have with this model is like her shoulder it just like looks really weird to me um and then we have oh god i don't remember the read of this one. Oh, i think it's the andalusian Maybe the new Andalusian stallion. Um, again, it kind of, I don't know what color they were aiming for. I guess a dark, like, sooty, not sooty, but like weird buckskin color. It kind of looks green. I'm not a big fan. Um, but yeah, I really dislike this model. So for that reason, I wouldn't buy it. But I appreciate the shading on the legs at least. You know, that's an upgrade. Okay, moving on, we have the Bashker Curly. Um, I never imagined this mare in this color, and I'm surprised that they're bringing this model back because they don't sell the original. So I guess that's kind of cool. If you don't have one, then you can get one. Um, once again, I am appreciating the shading with the legs. Um, for a lot of their models, it seemed like they stopped doing shading so <laughs> glad they're bringing it back guys the tail is an interesting i don't know why they you see if they did the shading in the tail i would hope that they did it in the main too but you know and also like if they have shading around the muzzle then it should be around the eyes but just my thoughts but i like it i like that color i think it could be worked on a little bit but it's nice. And then we have, I think this is the Quarter Horse Stallion. I actually like him in this color. I never really thought of him in this color. Yeah, cute. This one, favorite out of all of them. Um, this is a Tennessee Walker gelding, question mark. Yeah, it's gelding. I love this. I love him as Bay. Um, I think I painted him as a Bay. Um, yeah, but I'm glad that they're selling him like as a model as a Bay. Okay, now we're gonna be moving on to some sets. This is more of like the second house like, but then I'm gonna be showing you guys the advent calendars. So stay tuned for that. So first of all, we have this bear. It's just like this Western set. I feel like I've seen this before. I don't know why. I feel like a lot of their western sets just kind of look the same um same thing like i feel like i've seen this before when i was going through these i was like wait these are new right like uh, they're apparently and then i have another one like i swear i've seen this but apparently it's new so i'm just like hmm. all right and now for the infamous Haired friends. <laughs> uh, these, this is not all of them, but I don't really want to go through all of them. I'm just gonna collectively address <laughs> the haired horses. <laughs> um, this is not a route that I thought Schleich would be taking. I guess it's more obvious now since they've becoming more. They've become more of a pink glittery brand i don't even want to say girl because boys can like pink too but i think for the most part it's very female focused um there's not as many male riders like there's no male english riders i was thinking about this yesterday um yeah so kind of 
saw this coming, I get in a way. Uh, not this soon though, I don't know. And seeing these, I was like, Ugh. They all have breeds and there's other colors, but it looks like they've just taken like some uh, existing molds and just added hair. I mean, if I was a kid, I might have liked it, so I can't like hate on it that much. And then I think it's just like it's kind of like going away from sort of the like true values of quality. I mean, I don't know. This just seems like another brand to me at least. Um, and then there's like this wash set thingy. Yeah, interesting. Um, they have like a little rack of towels. Like we have this kind of cute girl. She has braids. Um, and then there's a guy. Wow. Imagine that. In the back doing who knows what. We got trophies, some accessories. Oh, I like that grooming box. Oh, and they have a nice little, little plant there. Interesting. All right, moving on. Oh, wait. It looks like it's like a foldable like handle. It's interesting. It's cool. Um, and then... We have some accessories, nothing much to say about this other than she's like, you need to bring back your jumping boots for horses because literally they were fun and I liked them and now they're not available. Okay, and then we have this barn, half barn. I really like this one. I really, really like this one. Um, I like that it's like small, it's open. So in the past barns, it's like kind of hard to get your hand in there and do stuff but I like this because it's open and it looks like it comes with two recolored horses comes with that mare I don't know where her breed is I think it's an Andalusian question mark I don't know um and then a Tennessee Walker I don't think that's her original color I think she's more like chestnut in that color and then a recolored foal too yeah they're really cute I don't wait there's like a fence. Oh, okay. So there's a stall that side. And then there's like a thingy. It's like a grooming stall, basically. Then we have like little paddocks. Um, they have like a little bunk room. <gasps> this reminds me exactly like a Playmobil set I used to have. Like there's like that little loft space. That is like crazy. Yeah, that's the same thing. And they had a ladder too. Just like this copying Playmobil. Anyways, um, yeah, no, I think it's cute. They have like their little sleeping bags. They have this little like weather vane on the top of the horse, which is like, and it comes with a saddle stand and some tack. Oh my God, that's so cute. They have, oh wait, no, they've had that before. I was gonna say like a saddle rack. That has existed. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, and they're movable people, which is nice. I have like none of them because I haven't bought like stuff recently. All right, moving on to this one. This looks like a tack shop, which is pretty snazzy. I'm not gonna lie, I never thought Schleich would come out with something like this. So let's take a look. Has the new Trackner as a bay. Can't really see the color because of the blanket, but uh, again, I really dislike this model. I think it looks like an alien, as I've said in the Schleich Models I Hate video, which gets a lot of hate. Anyways, um, yeah, so don't like the model, but kind of I like the idea behind this. They have like the shelves with stuff on it that's for sale, shampoo, helmets, brushes. Oh my god, that dog is absolutely adorable. I don't I think like a Bernie's mountain dog. It doesn't really look like the body of one. Anyways, um then we have some like apples, some lady with the register who is different. I'm so shocked. And then I forgot their names. So then, there, oh, there's also like bridles and stuff in the back. So you're getting like two sets of tack, which is nice. Oh, are those, sa guys, they're making saddle pads now. Oh, it has like little, little loop thingies for the girth. Oh my God. I never thought they would do that either. Wow. That's impressive. And then it has like this little horse saddle tree. I feel like it makes sense though because it's like a store. I don't know. It's still a little a little strange Moving on we have a literal stall So before looking at this I had no problems until 
I looked on the website it was being sold at. And it is 35 euros. I don't know if that's correct. I also don't know. I think 35 euros. I don't know the conversion. But that seems like a lot of money. Uh, and I think they're like connector stables. So you can like add it on to something. Uh, so actually Loki forgot to film this part and forgot this set existed. Anyways, we got a pretty Hanoverian mare. I feel like this entire set was the same before. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. It's just a different horse. She's pretty as a chestnut, so I can't really complain. And there's everything else that's usually with the wash doll. So yeah. I didn't include all of the like farmland zoo stuff because it's just not really what my channel centers on. However, I do have these. Like chicken cart thing is so cute. So that's coming up with me. And then lastly, we have the advent calendar. We have um, a recolor on the Andalusian, which is like the same coloration as the Welsh pony. So like staples are interesting. They kind of just have gray butts and then they just like airbrush white dots. Anyways, um, they have a nice red saddle pad and saddle thingies. Uh, oh, oh yeah, they changed the stirrups a while ago. What am I saying? Um, and then they have a movable rider, a blanket, some chicks. I don't know. I always like they always used to have bigger stuff. Like they used to have jumps and like. I don't know. Now they kind of just have like itty bitty tiny stuff because they're trying to fill up the advent calendar. Wait. Do they give each slice of pie as a day? <laughs> I would really hope not. I don't think so. And then you get a halter, a full. A ta I really hope they would give you the whole tack box as a day and not like the box, the huff brush. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, that that could be could be interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, Roses, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like this video. Go watch my other videos. And I got a TikTok actually, so if you wanna follow that, it's my same handle that I have for everything else. And yeah, follow me on Instagram too. My likes have been going. It's kinda sad, but it's okay. Love you guys, and don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.